Hey, this is Linz, and you are watching Support the Scene. Hey, this is Jade from Support the Scene. I'm here with an artist that we've had on the show before, but with a new singer. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Nadia Johnson. I am the new singer for the band Sugar Cane, uh, otherwise known as Sons of Cane. Uh, we switched the name, I think, about four or five months ago now. Now, um, I... what's the reason behind it? The changing of the name? Yeah, is it just a new branding? Is it a new feel? It's a, a couple of different reasons. Uh, because the old singer uh, was the one that chose the original name for the band. Uh, and the sound is quite different uh, from what they were originally doing. So uh, they also wanted to add some, because I'm a female singer and it was it was a male singer before, they wanted to add some, some sugar into it. So that's why we took the old cane and added sugar to make it sugar cane. I like it, I like it, a little sugar, a little spice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's awesome. So how did you connect with, with them? Corey Burke, the, the, the guru of the band, um, Mr. Optimism, he, I recorded with him about, I don't know, 19 years ago. He used to have a little studio on Main and Second called Ogre Studios. Oh yeah. And so back then I was doing a lot of country music. And so I recorded with him a little demo that I, you know, all those years ago and just followed him on, with friends, you know, just via Facebook and stuff. And then he, I got really serious about going back into singing and music back uh, last winter and he just posted looking for a singer and I thought it's not my genre of music necessarily but I'm up for the challenge and then I jumped in and they chose me after many auditions so flattering for me. That's awesome. Well yeah. um, you have a new single that'll come and highlight everything that's new. Can you tell me a little bit about it? How, where was it recorded? All that kind of good stuff? Well, Corey has his own little studio out in Langley now, um, post Ogre. So we, the song is, is actually a very interesting story. I used to live on Westham Island uh, in Ladner and there was, I lived next to a hockey barn. Ah, yeah. And I was in a, a, a bit of a troubled relationship. And at nighttime I would grab my roller skates and every night I would go to the hockey barn and I would skate to get my, my feelings out. Yeah, And so the song, that's why it's called Cruising for a Bruising, because I was uh, in a situation where I was literally felt like I was cruising for a bruising and the only way out was to, to roller skate my, my pain away. That's awesome. Well, you know, and that's really what it's about is, um, you know, when you're having these feelings, being able to have an outlet or something that you can do, you know, non-destructively. Yeah. Yeah, and look at the great song that it produced. I mean, the relationship wasn't for nothing. <laughs> so, exactly, right? I mean, just look at uh, Taylor Swift and Adele. If uh, heartache can be monetized, they're the ones to do it. it. It really is the best fuel for songwriting. It's it's just, there's no question. Um, so we recorded it, uh, it individually in, in Corey's little studio and um, he mixed it and uh, it's it's just such a great toe tapper. Uh, it's a little bit like rock Johnny Cash mixed in with, uh, gosh, I don't even know. Um, but it's definitely the lyrics and the music and the way these guys play it. It's just, it's, it's something else. I really love it. That's awesome. Well, you were saying that you came from more of a country background. How do you, how do you <laughs> um, find that it's been fitting so far? It's great, you know. It's uh, it's it's funny. Corey always said that it would be a waste of my voice to just pigeonhole me and pick me for just country, which is I thought a really good point because I this this rock thing is awesome. Like my voice really works with it, and it's funny. These guys are enjoying the little bit of country inflection that I have in these rock songs. Yeah. So it's it's a really neat sort of blend and. Um, just a um, combo of, of different things. But yeah, I love it. It's great. That's fantastic. Now you have a show coming up too on Friday. We do. Yes, we are the opening band uh, on the Roxy at the Roxy Cabaret on Granville Street. Uh, we are on at seven. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe we're playing about for 50 minutes or an hour, one of the two. 
Um, and we will be debuting our Cruising for a Bruising song. That's yeah. awesome. I love the Roxy. It's one of my favorite venues. Oh, I, yeah. I, 19th birthday um, at it uh, when I turned 19 and my 21st. Oh. Needless to say, I don't remember either night. Uh, <laughs> that is the Roxy for you. Yeah. Well, I, I've never played the Roxy, so I'm really looking forward to it. I hear it's a really, I've been there, but never played it. So it's going to be fun. I think one of the most interesting things that people, when they play the Roxy for the first time, you notice that the monitors um, aren't in the front of the stage like you normally would. They're above, oh. they're hanging and they're nice. hanging down at you. So it's kind of um, interesting, like trying to trying to just get your monitor levels and things like that. Um, instead of like looking down at your feet, you're kind of just standing forward and you can hear everything. Um, I love that. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's it's ingenious and it works really well. Great, I love this. I love this because I wasn't planning to use in ears, and um, you know, having a good strong monitor as a singer, you know, is really important to be able to hear exactly what I'm doing. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the sound guy, the sound system, the whole venue. Awesome. Well, uh, and then lastly, uh, yeah. what's your social media? My social media? Yeah. Oh, the what? Sugar Cane. Sugar Cane uh, Music. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, it's spelled the way it sounds, but the cane is with a K. So Sugar Cane Music. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on TikTok. And uh, the song will be released um, on all platforms on Friday, Friday, when we do the is that it? Is that yeah, it? It, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I hope everyone gives it a listen. Uh, please check it out. We'll have, uh, the link for everything for all their social medias, obviously down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe and to go check out the show. Uh, the Roxy's awesome. Um, you know, I'll get, you know, you're going to kick butt. And uh, yeah, I bet the rest of the bands are awesome as well. Yeah. Yeah, they will be for sure. Thanks for joining us and have Thank a great you. day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jade. Have a great day. You too. And thanks Bye. for watching Support the Scene and we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. This is Support the Scene. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, follow and share.